Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Tom. Welcome back, or welcome. How's it going? Today's video. Alright, that was fucking annoying. My card just filled up. Love that. I know I'm late to this. Judging by the title, if you guys can read, if you guys can't read, that sucked. I'm late to this trend again, and I don't even really care, to be honest with you, because this time it's different. I am DMing a hundred celebrities that are also Australian. Tom, you've never made a video about something Australian. We're changing things up, alright? I think I might make this my thing. Make videos about Australia because no one's done that before. Ever. I started to write down a list of all the Australian people who I'd like to DM. It was so much more difficult than I thought it'd be, but we're gonna get there. I will try my hardest to get to 100. There's not actually that many Australians anyway. I swear to God, I could not find a lot of Australians. And a lot of the people in here are like double ups as well. Like there's gonna, it's like a group of people. Anyway, you'll find out. But let's just get straight into the DMs, all right? Anyway, I'll be right back, guys. 12 seconds later. Hey guys, I'm back. It's been about seven days, maybe four, I don't know. It's been about four days and I realized two things from that. Uh, one, one being that I'm wearing a stripy shirt again. Two, is that it was gonna take that long to be to DM everyone if I was gonna film it in between each or like while I was DMing them. It was gonna take ages to do, as well as a lot of the footage would have just been of me like this. <laughs> so I've gone through, got blocked a bunch of times, as well as DM'd all the people. So I've DM'd a hundred people. I'm only gonna show you guys the ones that I actually thought were funny, or the ones that were like more entertaining, because a lot of them were just me being like, hi. And no one's gonna reply to that. I, d I don't think a celebrity would take the time out of the day to literally just reply to a message that just says hi. So all of the messages that I sent out that were more interesting than hi, like hi Ryan Reynolds, I know he's not Australian, shut the fuck up. So since the last time we spoke, I have DM'd everyone else, and here are the messages that I've sent. Here is the best of the best, all right? Creme de la creme, cream of the crop. You get what I'm saying? These are just the ones that I think were good and that you guys will enjoy. So, let's jump into it. Here it is, DMing 100 Australian celebrities. Let's go. The approach that I took with all of the ones I'm showing you guys right now was literally me like either like asking an open-ended question or challenging them to something. I just feel like that's what's gonna get them to reply. Chris Hemsworth, hey Chris. How many thoughts does it take to change a light bulb? I, I wasn't going anywhere with this. I was just kind of hoping that he'd be like, I don't know, Tom, how many? And then I'd be like, <laughs> Chris, you're Thor. You should know how many, right? <laughs> yeah, but he didn't reply. Next up, we've got Thor's little brother, Liam Hemsworth. I said, hey, Liam, is it cool being Thor's brother? Or does he just beat you up like mine does? That's a lie. I don't have a brother. But like, again, he didn't reply. But imagine if he did. <laughs> Am I right? Cody Simpson, this guy, like I listen to his music a lot. Maybe something I'm not proud to admit, but I, 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 it was one of my top played songs in year seven. Anyway, I said, hey Cody, what's up? And he said, nothing. So we've moved on to Tim Cahill. We're the fourth person in. I don't know, I think I thought this was a great message. I, I don't know why he didn't reply to me. I still have dreams about that left foot volley against the Netherlands. Still buzzing, haven't slept properly in five years. If you guys haven't seen that, I'm putting that right there. Fucking look at that, honestly. That is probably one of the best goals that I've ever seen in my life. Hugh Jackman, the Hugh Jackman. You know, Wolverine. Out of all of the things that I could have messaged him about, I chose this. I said, hey, how are you going? And he didn't reply. For the next one, I chose the pun route again. I went to Keith Urban and I said, someone told me that you're not actually Australian. Have you just been trying to Keith that information private or? Like the video for that one, please. Trying to settle a bet. My friend thinks you're not Australian. Are you? I know she is, but like, imagine she was like, yes, I am Australian. Idiot. And then I'd be like, oh my God, she replied to me. Sam Worthington was on my list, but Sam doesn't have Instagram. So the next person that does have Instagram is his wife, Lara Worthington. Hey, could you please ask Sam what happens at the end of Avatar? Thanks. Jimmy Barnes. Literally like he's an iconic Aussie, I don't know, but he was he's Scottish. So I, I messaged him and I just said, I wish you were Australian. The next musician that we've moved on to is Flume. If you don't know Flume, he makes the songs that go dum 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 I really love your song that goes dum 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 dum. How do you feel about people saying that Shannon Noll should have won back in 03? Bit controversial. That maybe it's a touchy subject. 
because his whole career was sort of based on that win. What a guy though. Bloody great guy, Sebastian. Hey Iggy, can you teach me how to rap? Probably not the best person to teach me how to rap, but it's always a start, okay? All I could say to Shane <laughs> was, fuck yeah, Shane! Ash Barty said, 100 bucks says I could take you in singles. One, I don't know tennis. Two, I can't play tennis. And three, I don't even know if that's the right word to challenge her to. Singles? I don't know. She didn't reply, so it's not like I get to play singles with her. <laughs> to Nicholas Kyrgios. At the time of uh, at the time of messaging him, he had accumulated a bunch of tennis fines, damaging the court, probably I don't know, screaming at someone, having a shit haircut. I don't know. Anyway, so I messaged him and I said, "If you beat me in singles, singles again, see, got to be it. It has to be it. I've said it twice now. That makes it a word. If you beat me in singles, I'll pay all of your fines, which is absolutely outrageous. Another threat from myself to a celebrity, <laughs> Leighton Hewitt." The come on, you know, the guy, the guy that, oh, you know, Australian tennis, great. I reckon I've got you in table tennis. I got a bit desperate. So I think I was about 50 people in and no one had replied to me yet. So I moved on to Jared Hain. This whole message is a lie, all right? It's all fabricated. Sorry. Sorry, Jared. Hey, Jared, my mum loves you. Can you send me an autograph, please? It'll mean the world to her. He didn't reply. Mum didn't get an autograph from Jared Hain. I didn't get a reply. He didn't get to talk to me, so everyone loses. Prime Minister of Australia, Mr. I'll take $10,000 pay rise, thanks! Who at the time, when I did this story last time, I had more followers than him, and now he has twice as many Instagram followers as me, so that's tops. I just thanked him for the tax return that I haven't gotten yet, but I said thanks for the tax return, X. He didn't reply. He's doing bigger and better things, you know? Kevin Rudd, the man, the myth, the handball legend, Mr. Kevin Rudd. I messaged the man and I said, Kevin, what would it take for you to play a game of handball with me? Please, could you imagine that? Myself, little old Tom, playing handball with Mr. Kevin Rudd. That would make not only my year, my decade maybe. I think it has sparked joy in the hearts of many young Australians. So Mr. Kevin Rudd, please, please take me up on my offer. Play handball with me. Make this young adult's dream come true. I don't know if you know this, but you rule. You rule. Just saying. He didn't reply. Oh, why is no one messaging me back? Maybe one day, I'll be the celebrity and people will be messaging me. No chance. I've stuck with a lot of musicians because there's a lot of bands, singers, all that stuff that are really, I guess, famous. You know, you're verified, you're pretty famous, right? So I've messaged Skeggs, said, hey Skeggs, are you currently taking applications for another band member? I can't play an instrument. But what I can do is the worm. Let me know if you accept my offer. If they accept my offer and I have to do the worm, I'm in some shit because not only can't I play an instrument, I can't do the worm, guys. Shit. A lot of you guys might not know who this is. His name is John Jarrett. He is the actor that played the Mick Taylor in The Wolf Creek 1 and The Wolf Creek 2. I messaged him and I said, Wolf Creek has to be one of the scariest documentaries I've ever seen. It's not what I actually said, but he didn't even reply to it, so it doesn't matter. Here is the first, the first person who has replied to me. Also, I've tagged them in my story a couple of times and they didn't reply to me. Anyway, it's Vegemite, the iconic spread, all right? How good is that? Vegemite replied to me. Bit disappointing, though. I, I, I messaged him and I said, not 100% sure, but you guys just Vegemite be my favorite food. And then I sent him an emoji of a sandwich. They just took my joke and just reworded it, all right? They said, we don't blame you, Tom. Glad to hear you're a mighty fan. Like, thanks for replying, but think of your own fucking joke. They could have just been like, cool, we'll sponsor you for the rest of your life, am I right? That, that would have been sick. Shannon Knoll. <laughs> I don't care what the people say. You're the real Australian Idol winner. This guy is one of the most influential people of my childhood. He's taught me a vast majority of things. I've learned so much from the man. So I told him that. I said, Anthony Wiggle. I think I learned more growing up from the Wiggles than school, if I'm honest. He didn't reply, so I moved on to the Red Wiggle. I said, <laughs> Murray Cook, by the way. I said, hey, do you do parties? We'll never know if he does parties because he didn't reply. I feel like people would be mad at me if I didn't message this guy. I said to Scott Tweedy, release the ninjas himself. I don't know if this is how it works, but if there's ever a reboot of Prank Patrol, a shotgun being the first person on it, I've always wanted to prank the New South Wales police, let me know what you think. Imagine a fake weed prank, all right? holding some like oregano or some synthetic shit that looks like marijuana 
going out to the police and then it's just the whole prank and you get arrested and then you get let out. It, imagine that. Scott, if you're watching this, let's make it happen. Second person that replied to me after I messaged him. Another open-ended question slash bet slash whatever. I literally said to the June rats, I said, 10 bucks says I can drink a beer faster than you. All of these are outrageous lies. I've seen these guys and I definitely cannot drink a beer faster than any of them. All they said was, you're on. I don't know, should I reply? Be like, where and when? And then just go there and lose 10 bucks to them? I don't know. I'm going to leave that there. If you did enjoy this video, give it a little like, share it with your friends, comment something funky below, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for having me, guys. Bye.